Hey all, Sheree Lindbergh from Get Connected Counseling and Consulting. So I wanted to do a little um, introductory email, um, video for all of you. I've been having a lot of questions lately um, because Cynthia and I are doing the Olympic Counter Transference Seminar that's coming up around self-spotting and some different ideas for self-care for the, for the therapist. And so I just wanted to throw out this really quick idea for all of you to give a try, and I would love to hear your feedback on it. One of the ways that I um, use this with not only my clients, um, but with myself, is I have an image in my mind, or you can find an image on Google Images, of your higher self, your spiritual self, or God. You can... Any, any way that you want to describe your best self, your true essence of how you want to show up in the world. And sometimes you might have a picture of that. And you, again, you can get that from, you know, Google Images. Or you might have one imprinted in your mind that, you know, comes to mind spontaneously. Um, or maybe there's somebody that you admire, even. Um, so any of those things are fine. But what we're looking to do is to create positive physio physiological states in the body and we're looking to imprint it inside so one of the things that i do um there's a couple different images that i have one is mountains i love like the tetons um just visited zion uh, national park here this last month so that view was absolutely spectacular so now i have that to add to my little uh photo album of things that really make my body go ah so I tell people, we're trying to help them have a sensation in their body that's, ah, okay? So once we, once we find like an image or um, we can feel that state even because of something, a story that the client is just telling you or a memory that's coming up for you that was very moving, we notice where people's eyes go. And if the person cannot um recognize where their eyes are then i will use the pointer to help them find and connect with the ah state inside of their body i use it that way because i, I feel like it's more of a subcortical response when i think of the mountains my whole body i could just feel my whole upper chest just wide open and ah nature really speaks to me that way another one um is you know, a God spot where I think of my higher power and my highest self, my spirit, my life purpose, why I'm here on earth. And that would be another spot that what I do uh, every morning before I go to work or if I'm having a rough day during my lunchtime, I'll sit, I'll put the bilateral music on and I'll put my eyes on these positions and just breathe and let myself really take it in so that my physiology can really feel that ah feeling. And I'll tell you what will happen is the, these rough, the rough day or whatever's bothering my, me that day, I can feel it kind of shifting. There's relief coming into my body as I'm taking it in. So the way that my mind um, thinks about it is that this is a way for you to regenerate your batteries. This is a way for you to move from unconscious to consciously, intentionally creating the states that you want to be in so that you can be a better friend, a better lover, a better parent, a better um, spouse, coworker, um, you know, brain spotter, whatever it is that you want to do, that you're moving from an unconscious state to where all this stuff of life, you know, our brain just goes on automatic pilot to now shifting out of that and shifting into like a paradigm shift or a conscious, intentional state of being in that moment. So I hope that you find this helpful and would love to hear any feedback if you practice with it. I do it about 10 minutes a day. Um, Richard Davidson says that's all we need to do is 10 minutes a day um, of meditation and we're, we're changing our brain. And I've been using these states um, and, and this, uh, the brain spots and so forth to help me shift out of the negative back into conscious presence, intentionality of my life purpose. And I hope you find this helpful for you. So take care and I hope you're enjoying the newsletter as well.